Francis is back in the core! Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Earl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. The bypass is done. The core is stable. The Festus is 100% contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. Carefully. Redundant copy. 
You cost us quite a lot of time. <laughs> Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay.
is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look, if you like. Done so soon. I've got more important things to worry about. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us? At the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. I hold focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship, a complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted, heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them, create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. 
Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah, Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. You said Beta is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be, but her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel, a virtual place where we could speak in peace. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. 
You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the Sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. First Varl. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? Watching me. I, I, I can't hold it just for extra protection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. 
But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Rakala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. Aaron, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... We're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I... We'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. <laughs> 